Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Night King's Host. Uh, it has been updated with the latest Goal 10, which is version 2.1.1. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. We'll go over to our settings. I will show you that I don't have the Goal 10 options. And if we scroll down, I do not have debug settings. Now we'll go up to our network and go ahead and just check connect to the internet. And once that is done, we can go ahead and back out. Now we'll go ahead and launch our browser. And we'll do the usual here. Close that first window. Go ahead and delete all our frequently used pages. Go into our browser. Clear that. And then finally, we'll just go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now I've already went ahead and bookmarked Night King's host. So we'll go ahead and select it. If you don't have it bookmarked, you can just go ahead and type in nightkingshost.com. But once we are in here, we have two options here for 9.00. We have the exploit menu, which gives us all the payloads plus goal 10. And then we have the other one, which is just the kernel exploit. Well, pretty much the jailbreak, and then it does the loading of goal 10. So we're going to stick to the this one here, which gives us all the payloads. We'll go ahead and select it. Now we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache. As you can see, it goes pretty quick. 20% um, now, but yeah, once it's done installing, then we can go ahead and get disconnected from the internet. So there's 50%. Okay, almost 70, 75, 80, 90. Okay, there's our 100%. So we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. Now we're going to go over and disconnect from the internet. It is not required. You can stay connected if you want. I'm just showing you that uh, each time you go ahead and turn on your PlayStation, if you don't go into rest mode, that uh, you don't have to connect to the internet to go ahead and launch it. So we'll go ahead and launch our browser. Okay, and everything comes up. All our payloads are here. Our goal hands are here. Um, the latest one, which is the 2.1.1. We're going to go ahead and select it. Now we'll give it a few moments here just to do the jailbreak. It can take up to 30 seconds, but it's usually under that. And then once it does come up, it'll pop up with a message to insert our USB. So that's probably about 10 seconds there. Give it a few more seconds and we should see the message. Okay, so we'll go ahead and insert our USB. And then we'll just wait for the message to pop up on support of file system. And there we go, on support it. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, goal 10 2.1.1 loaded. So we can go ahead and unplug our USB. Okay, and I have it configured to load bin loader, but uh, with this host, you don't need bin loader. Um, I will show you. We'll go ahead and just disable our bin loader. So we'll go in and uncheck it. So it is shutting down. Go ahead and launch our browser again. Okay, and let's just say if we wanted Orbis's toolbox just for a payload for an example, go ahead and select it. So it does the jailbreak each time and then it goes ahead and loads the toolbox. Takes a little longer, but it's still the same result. Okay, so any moment we should see it pop up. Yeah, it's about 15 seconds there. It will eventually come up. I know it does take a little longer, but uh, we'll see it in a moment here. Okay, it's strange. It's taking a little longer than usual. There we go. Orbis's toolbox load at 1.0. So if we go ahead and hit the PlayStation button, you can see that Orbis's toolbox is loaded. We go over to our settings, and uh, you can see the Orbis's toolbox settings there as well. If you're wondering what the new features are with the new Goal 10, if you go into About and then About Goal 10, 
Uh, the features are there, but the change log, if we go down to the change log, you can see fixed multiple injections for the version 2.1.1. But that's basically it for the video, guys. I just want to jump on and show you or give that host a test. Seems like everything seems to be working well. So I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.